Hey guys, Kelly Stormdoll here, and today I'm here to review a Amazon haul. This is from Amazon.com, and this was a deal. These are um, some Marvel Legends two pack. This is from Ant Man and the Wasp. This is X Con Lewis and Marvel's Ghost. This is the front. Lewis on the side. This is the back, and then Ghost on this side. And I also was able to get. The Captain America, the first Avenger, um, Captain America and Peggy Carter. So that's them in a the box. That's Captain on that side, Peggy on this side, and then them on the back. Now surprisingly, <laughs> I am a big Marvel fan. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Marvel fan. But I have not seen either of these movies. I have not seen... I've seen Ant-Man, but I haven't seen Ant-Man and a Wasp. And I've seen Winter Soldier and everything else, but I never saw Captain America and the First Avenger. So, I paid $14.99 for this set. And then for this set, I believe I paid $19.99. And these um, recently had been going for, like, very, very expensive prices because scalpers online... And what I love is that recently, because the Comic Con was at home this year, a lot of these um, creators and directors are saying that they're going to try to implement ways online so that people cannot either use bots to buy up all the products or people can, you know, so, so everyone has an opportunity to um, get these. So I really love what Amazon does and I love what um, Hasbro specifically is going to try to do and these are by Hasbro. As you can see, and it said um, that's what they're going to try to do so that scalping can, can try to go away, even though scalping will probably never go away, but at least they're trying to help out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everyone unboxed, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, Kelly Stormdoll here, and now I have everyone out of their packaging. We can go over all of the figures. The first thing we're going to go over are their accessories. Now, the one that comes with um, fewer accessories is from Ant-Man and the Wasp, their two-pack. You can see they come with this um, little rolling rolling cart. I'm not sure what it means, but this is pretty cool. Hasbro gave us a functional lift. So it actually goes up and down. The, the wheels aren't functional, but that's okay. And it also comes with... This ant, I guess, if anyone's interested in it. Um, he's not articulated. He's just like a rubber ant. Um, and and um, Ghost came with some accessories, but we'll go with, over her accessories when we get to her. Now, looking at this first figure, this is Luis. I do remember him from the original film. He was kind of like a, um, a funny guy, a funny character. This is his face. You guys can see it's a pretty good likeness to the actor. Plays him. This is just a look over his suit. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so for articulation, he can look this far down. This far up. He can look side to side. I think he has a... Does he have a butterfly? No, no butterfly. But he can lift his arm up this far and it can rotate around go out this far he has a little swivel right there he has the double bend elbow he has a wrist swivel and he also has a bend in his wrist he does have a, um, a ab crunch you can see that right there so you can crunch this far forward and this far back um, he also has a waist twist he has a thigh cut he has a double bend in his leg, and he also has um, a rocker. So this is just side to side, rocker and swivel. Now, um, for articulation, I'll go over their articulation when it's different. But for the most part, that's how um, the males have articulation. So that's Lewis, and I think this is great for anyone who wants a figure who has on a suit, or if you are actually are a fan <laughs> 
of this character from the movie. So now we're going to move on to Ghost. Now Ghost came with these two accessories. She came with her hood down. So with the hood down you can pretend like she took her mask off. And this is um, Ghost Unmasked. So I think that looks um, pretty good. I don't know who it's based off of but it looks really really good. Now when we go into the figure of Ghost, it looks really good. She's mostly covered with um, grays. I know um, some people may have thought it was white, but these two are just two different tones of gray. It's not white. Yep, it's just two different tones of um, gray. You can see she has some blue buttons all over her suit and on her calves and everything like that. Now, um, for the female Marvel Legends, the only thing for articulation that's main difference is their arms. They only get one bend, no um, bicep swivel. But everything else is pretty much the same. Ghost can look this far down, which isn't that much. Can't look up. Can look side to side a little bit. Yeah, she still has some decent... She doesn't have a swivel, but she does have this crunch in the middle like that so that's pretty okay and they also come with the double the double bend and everything like that um, I think Ghost is a villain though if I'm not mistaken I think she's a villain but she might be a villain turned friend who knows but now we're gonna move on to Captain America and Peggy Carter so, one accessory that they came with is the shield, which is like the American flag, but it's all beat up and dirty. It's very smooth. And you can see this is the back of it. He also came with another shield. This one is completely grayed out. It's like a marvelized gray. And you can see like the sparkle and things in it. He comes with guns. And as you can see... These are his guns. What is this? A uh, with a rifle and a handgun? I never, I never know the names. But these are his guns. He also came with this knife, which is very interesting because it's meant to give the illusion of um being very sharp. You can tell by the tip of it. Wow, pretty cool. He comes with his <laughs> America hat. Helmet, helmet. And this last part for his accessories before we get into the figure is just a separate head sculpt, which you guys can see. The only difference is that one of them is looking off to the side. So it's it's just how would you want him to be looking? It's it's almost no difference, but I think that's the difference. All right, so this is um, Captain America from the very first Captain America movie. The first Avenger, yes. Looks very nice. It's a very nice piece. The molding, the everything that's going on, it's a very nice piece. Articulation is nice. Um, nope, no butterflies. Nope. So the articulation is the same. Okay. So let's see for head. Can't really look down. Can you look up? Just that much. So not really. I guess I can see why these um, figures may have gone on sale. You know, it's kind of like pieces. If if you like this, you'll get this. But if not, it'll just sit there. And I can kind of see like, oh, is this functional? Nice. I can kind of see these sitting on the pegs for a while. I mean, these are just period pieces to me, you know, like, oh, yeah, remember such and such, such and such scene, and someone's like, oh, yes, I love that scene, and then you're like, I have the figures from that scene, you know, these um, are interesting, you know, so that's him, now let's look at Peggy, all right, the last figure of the day is Peggy Carter, and here she is in her military outfits 
Oh, she's supposed to have on stockings. Cool. Why didn't they just give her some stockings? Okay. Uh, something that I do want to discuss that I don't know if my camera is going to pick up is um, her neck is extremely white. Unlike her face, which is like, you know, detailed and everything like that. But I think it's because her skin is green. Like this army green. And they just went over it with white and... That's why it's so strongly white because they didn't want the green to fade through. But you can kind of see it fading through. Now her head, she can look this far down. This far up. She can look side to side, of course. Um, she actually has a waist twist. Interesting. Like that. Okay. Um, everything else is the same. Does she have... Yes, yeah, she does have, she has double, double jointed knees, but because of her skirt, you can't really use it. Um, she does have a thigh swivel as well. Nice. Okay, so Peggy definitely does have some articulation. Um, can she really use it? Not so much because of the skirt, even though it is a softer plastic, you know. But, and these are her shoes, if you guys are interested. Um... Overall, I can say that these pieces are nice, but I definitely could see how and why they would go on sale at Amazon. Um, this is currently a deal going on at Amazon, guys. So if you're interested in any of these period pieces from Marvel Legends, go over there and snag them up. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.